Hi there guys, welcome to today's video and today we're going to be having a first look at Tweetbot 3. That's right, it finally got released late last night and since then I've been tinkering around with it and just thought I'd share with you some of the cool new features. As you can see it's got the basics already like you had before, so you've got things like your timeline here, your mentions, DMs, then these two tabs here are the ones that you can change. So if you wanted to, you can change them to your tweets, favourites, mutes and search. And then again, the same one here, you can change it to your lists and things if you want to, favourites and retweets. So go to the timeline first of all. So as usual, you can just scroll down to read all the different timelines. If there is a gap in between, like so, if it's the top of your screen and a tap it, it'll load the tweets above. And if you go down, if you just watch this now when I move down, the arrow changes down. And once it changes down, it means it'll load them down for you. So you have to scroll down to read them. I prefer to do it that way so I don't miss any. I don't, I don't like going from new to old. I like going from old to new. But that's just my preference. So anyway, yes. So if you scroll down as usual to read them. Then if you see one you want to reply to, you just swipe to the left, like so, and there you can reply to them, retweet it, favourite it, or here's where you can copy the link or send to pocket. Then here you get all the details, things like view the tweets and translate if you want to. But here as well you can also see if anyone's retweeted it and favourites and how they posted it as well. So that's a really cool feature. And if you want to see, I'll try and find one with some comments in reply. In fact, I'll go to one of these here. If you want to see a conversation that we've had, then you'd swipe to the left as usual and it'd show you all that conversation, how it started from what the reply. So you can see that tweet was from all there. All those conversations. So that's my mentions. And again, you're just scrolling through. So that this looks totally different, as you can see. You can also, if you want to, just tap the screen. So you tap and hold it like so, and it'll bring up whether you're following them, if you want to direct message them, manage a list, disable retweets, or unfollow them. So that's a quick way of doing it as well. Or if you just want to get information about them, you can tap the screen, and there you can get the details um, of their Twitter account, and see all their details like tweets, followers, lists, and any recent photos of that user. And it'll also tell you here if that person is following you or not. If it's not, it says not following you. Then if you tap that little gear there, you can do exactly the same as you could if you tapped on the profile. You can manage list memberships and um, disable retweets and unfollow and things if you wanted to, of course, as well. So I'll go back. So that all looks really cool as well. And then I'll just show you as well with a picture. So let's find a picture I can tap on scroll through. So here we'll tap on this picture, a nice cup of tea, and then if you want to get rid of it you can just tap it or you can fling it wherever you like, like so, which I think is a right handy feature, or you can just tap it and it goes away as normal. It's totally up to you, but I really like that new feature. It's nice. So then your profile, again, it works pretty much the same sort of way where you can see all your tweets there. You just tap on it and it'll load them up for you. And you can check, check out your followers and your lists and things. The only thing slightly different before when you could tap up here to see your list, you can't anymore. But you can access it as a tab like so and then just go into it and then you can see them there and just go through like you would normally. Just pull it down to refresh. So that's still there, it's just that you have to have it as a tab instead of on your main timeline. Then I'll show you some of the basic settings. So this is what you can do, you can change the sounds and the display is just things like your username. Um, if you want it streaming you can do, how you do your tweets, browser and then in here you've got things like your um, notifications and if you want to read it later like pockets and things like that. If you want to change the text size you'll have to do that from the settings in your actual phone so you go to settings, general and scroll down to text size and then you can change it there and it will change it into any other apps that use that dynamic feature so, so things like your iMessage as well would change as well and I think that's the only other big thing there's only the white theme at the moment but I do believe that the night theme is in beta so that could be coming soon which I don't really like night themes to be honest and I'm not as keen on bright white so I've turned my brightness down for this one um, I did prefer grey but I'm getting used to this now and I'm really really happy with it I really like it and it's nice and refreshing and it fits in well with iOS 7 so for me it was uh, a definite purchase and I'm really glad that I did buy it. But let me know what you think in the comments below as well and if you found any other cool new features let me know in the comments below. As I say this is a first look and I'm just finding my way around but I just thought I'd show it with you today in case you couldn't decide whether to make this purchase or not. So thanks for watching, bye for now.